Hi, hello, and welcome back to Sally Face. I, like Bells above, am imaginary. Thank you for tuning in. Today is a good day. It transfers into some energy for this episode. We're back here with our pal Sal and uh, our Terry Larry. Doesn't really work. Let's let's uh, catch back up with the neighbors here. Uh, I think that's where we were at. God, Sal as an older kid person is like so cool looking. Like, his outfit hasn't changed at all, and neither has Larry's, which is really kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, back in. Okay. Mr. Addison. <clears throat> oh, man. Was I ready for this? Was I ready to start an episode? Okay. Hello. Uh, well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? <clears throat> we're, we're okay. We're, 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 we're doing okay. Huh? Uh, no, that's not good. Mm -hmm. We're, we're, we're doing okay. How about you? That's better, I guess. I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dealer, our dear Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. Yeah, I'll miss it here. <clears throat> yeah, I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of the basement. And plus, we're only down the road. Yeah, I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Or, thanks. Uh, thank you, dear. Oh, my God. I really need to figure out their adult voices so bad. Thank you, Terrence. Nope. That was, that was worse. <laughs> Miss Rosenberg's still alive? Are you still kicking? Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Oh, she didn't. She isn't still alive. <laughs> Addison still thinks that she's on vacation or something and that she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. No, I cannot get their voices down for the life of me. Yeah, I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You just, you just said she just like disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. I was right, Miss Rosenberg was one of the aliens. Take that game. All right, uh, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them, or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. Yeah, I think she was an alien. Dude, seriously? Aliens! It's not that crazy. The universe is definitely massive, beyond our comprehensive comprehension. It seems more foolish to believe we are the only life forms that exist. I guess so. But like, Rosenberg must have been the most boring alien ever. No claws, or fangs, or acid spit. Yeah, I bet they aren't so different from us. Maybe they are more human than we think. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah, I prefer my aliens to be weird green creatures, obsessed with stealing cows and anal probing people in their sleep. What are you telling us, Larry? What are you telling us? You would. <laughs> what are you trying to tell us there, Larry? Larry got buff. I don't know if that's just like how he grew up or if he's been working out, but he got buff. Mrs. Gibson. Yeah? What do you want, Sal? Ugh. Why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson, we're, we were... Well, that's par for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge. Oh, that's... Mrs. Gibson's rabbit was the one that died, wasn't it? No wonder she didn't really like kids. She seemed to have warmed up to Al, though. Oh, wait, I was already on floor one. We'll go to floor two in a moment. Oh, what happened to Larry's mom? I don't know. He... Oh. I guess we'll find out. 203. Uh, 203's empty. And I don't remember why 203 was empty. There's something here. You have pocket knife. Score. Nice. That could come in handy. Cool. Oh, excuse me. Guess there was a reason to go on 203. 204. Chuck's place. Wait, did that say Chuck? Did you see on the news? 
That they said Charlie was going to be released? Yeah, I did, but th that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the cult probably has, has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Ugh, as much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? I wasn't. It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. All right. Anything interesting in the kitchen over here? Nope. Um, is the bathroom still got a lingering smell? No. Although I can see why it did. I like how Larry didn't follow me in here. <laughs> Larry just stayed by the door. Although I don't know if Larry's been following me around in the rooms. I think he was, wasn't he? Todd's parents' place. Because Todd moved out. Oh, she is baked. Sally Face and Larry Bear. This is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> hey, Janice. Hey. What brings you two here? Just saying hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. She is so baked. Where's the dad? And where's my dad for that part? Like. Did those boys just go into the bathroom? Together. <laughs> Greg? Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on a super gear boy either. Oh, Larry's got the gear boy? Huh. What is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude! You picked it up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it here. What if we need it for something? What could we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is my friend, Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Rotnockfell, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. I have a tooth. It's really gross and decayed. No new messages. It's locked. Oh, am I ever gonna see Todd's parents' place? Oh, okay. <laughs> they changed Todd's room into a hemp growing room. Oh, okay. Hey, you guys. Larry, are you look? Are you back for more already? Oh, <laughs> nah. I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. Sal, how have you been? Or have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? It's great. <laughs> Isn't it, though? It's a thing of true beauty. Why did... How did you get all this stuff anyway? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> but really, this isn't exactly legal per se. So I'd appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. And of course, I'd be happy to supply you with some produce whenever you like. Her secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Ah, He's lucky to have such loving parents. And such good friends! I'm damn proud of all you boys. Damn proud! One day, we'll, return all, we'll all return to the stars. Totally! See, that, that's like an, like an off-handed remark that could totally just be waved away, but I don't think it is something we should just wave away. Hackerton's old room. The hole got plastered up. Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Oh, this is so blood. Getting any readings on the gear boy? Nope. Even your little goat buddy is hiding. Wait, all the ghosts are hiding? Why are they hiding? Oh god, I can't. 
It doesn't look like someone took a deuce in the toilet and then flushed it. That's gross. First bedroom. Oh, the hard stuff is still here. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Huh, there's a tear in the carpet here. I can't pull it up by hand though. Use the bucket knife. Oh, there's a little safe there. Um, I don't really know what the password is, so I guess I'll be back. Unless there's like something in this room that could tell me what the password is, but I don't think there is. Well, let's let's quickly. What is it? Three one four one. No, okay. Uh, because Pi was used by Packerton before, I was just a little a little curious to see if it would be the same. Bedroom two. The shelf got knocked down. All the meat hooks. My machine's here. And I would have known those guys weren't real cops. Or I should have known those guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. And I don't know how they cleared this place out overnight. Just the two of them. And they were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died too. I saw them leaving in the morning. Yeah, I saw them too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight. Because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd will have... Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No, but I what could have sworn I saw one of them going into the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot could be nothing. Or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. We went out to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. And I've been think I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there. Just to check it out. Cool. I'm down for some good old B and E. B and E? Breaking in and entering. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Todd's new voice. Well, his old voice too, but Todd's voice is, is a little grating on my throat. I think uh Chug 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 didn't he live in two or three? Wait, hold on. What am I doing? I've already been in 203. I went the other way first. Up to third floor. Chug lived on the third floor, right? Chug? I don't feel like it's not actually Chug. Oh, David's home. Well, hey, Sal. Or no, that's not right. Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What are yin, what are yin's up to? Hey, David. Uh, we're just checking in with everyone. How are things going? Yeah, it's awfully kind of you. I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah isn't feeling well, you see. So I gotta take care of her. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thanks, Yuse. Thank Yin's both. Aw. He's a bit goofy, but... Wait, why are the college kids still here? Like, we're grown-ups. Yo, what up, guys? Yo! Hey, CJ. Are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Sierra are coming over, lady. Gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. I don't think I can go further that way. Or that way, I guess. Is he the only one still there? Here's Chuck's place. Oh, hey. Oh, they have a kid. That's so cute. Oh, ha, ha. hey, guys. Hey, Sal. Uh, hey, Larry. Sally face. That's so cute! Oh my god! I didn't know they were dating! <laughs> hey guys! Oh. <clears throat> hey guys! Hey guys! I can't remember the voice. Yo! You two look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see some things stay the same. Oh, are you guys working another one of your secret cases? Yeah, it wouldn't be secret if we told you. Now would we? Would it? I suppose not. How are you two? We're good, you know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah! How, how have you been, Sal? I haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay. Keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out? They left a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. Uh, that was a little not his voice. That was nice of them to give. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. Oh, that reminds me, I'm supposed to visit my parents tonight. 
Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone? They named the child Soda! Ah! Well, I'm gone, babe. Yeah, of course! Notice anything weird? No! It's been nice and ghost-free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. See ya. So ya. Hey, Soda! Hey, yeah, Soda! How's my best baby doing? <laughs> Wanna go fried on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal, she has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. <laughs> Great way to get out of uh, animating that. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love. I want to ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders. Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning? Oh, okay. Aw, aw. Don't worry, little so. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. <laughs> promise? I promise. You bet. <laughs> that is so cute. But they have Nopa Cola, which has what looks like um, a weed kettle on it, or a weed leaf, or whatever you want to fucking call that thing, because I am not... I'm not super up on the whole weeds talk. I don't know much about the Mary Janes. What's this? Another tooth? Yeah. Maybe it's a clue or something. I got another tooth. Uh, this one has an S on it. I have two, two and f what? Two and four? Three and four. Wait, where? Am ah, I'm missing the other ones. Where am I gonna find the other teeth? Oh man, where am I gonna find the other teeth? I have no clue. Oh, that sucks. Could they have been in the other house? Or are they still in the apartment somewhere? Maybe they're in the basement. I feel like I've searched the whole apartment. Wait. <gasps> they got married! Ah! Oh my god! They got married! Holy shit, I didn't see that coming! Like, I saw the flowers and I knew something was kind of budding there, but I did not expect Sal and Larry to become stepbrothers like that. Oh my god, that is so cool! Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. She still looks so sickly. Hey, you fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a few weeks ago? <laughs> Sal. We could have all had dinner together tonight. Come on. Oh, we should all have dinner together tonight. Come on. What do you say, boys? Lisa's going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Oh, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aw, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight. But if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message you, or whatever you kids do once dinner is ready. It's call texting, Dad. Right, right, that. Sounds good. Hey, guys. Aw, that's so cute that they got together, though. That makes me so happy. Oh. That is like so great! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dad's office. Dad converted my room into an office, the little shit. Oh, I never did get into his computer. Fuck, I forgot about that. Excuse my language. Hmm, nothing to see in here, I guess. Although that. Oh, that was done in. Okay, that was done in her room. That's her toolbox, her tool thingy. 401, it's Robert's place. Oh, it's Robert. I forgot about Robert for a moment. Hey, hey, there's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? That's top secret. Sally, my man, I'm an investor. You, can, you can't share even a little detail with me. Actually, we're looking at something right now. That's why we're here. Have you seen anything strange lately? Anything strange at all? Uh, well, I got this weird rash on my left foot. You guys could take a whiff and let me know what you... Uh, I don't think we're really qualified for that. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My feet are fine. Yeah, if, you, if they're so fine, why don't you marry them? <laughs> Larry, you fucking nutter. Keep me posted, fellas. Hmm. Robert's a weird dude. I like him. 403. I'm gonna find another tooth in here. I feel like this would be prime location for tooth. Ooh. Ooh. 
what? Oh, uh, sorry. We didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hey, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Nogfell tonight. I just... I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... This may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. We have seen her. Oh dear, I was afraid of this. How is my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here. But we haven't seen her for a little while. My poor Sandy, she didn't deserve this. What is it that you're afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what exactly? Oh, never mind. I'm just upset, that's all. Would you boys do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. I guess I, I visited with everyone. Oh boy. Wait, I don't remember this room. Wasn't it locked the whole time? There's a tape here, but it's broken. Okay, I guess I can't look at it. Oh, damn. Remember the camera was like the camera from the original? Fuck, not the original. The camera in this hallway, the one all the way to the right has always been missing. How long has it been in here? Like this has gotten been here for a long time. This one, like that's been, that's been missing since like, the second game, or the second chapter, when he put them up. Alright. Alright, we're done meeting up with the neighbors. Here's another two. Huh. What? Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the birdcage. I never noticed before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it. Almost like someone has tried to open it. Hmm. I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. Pocket knife work? I feel like it should. Whoa, okay, I need the four teeth. I don't have four teeth right now. I only have two. Where am I gonna find the other ones? Hello? Tell me where I can find the teeth. Okay, so I've got two of four teeth. I need the other ones. Uh, still some ectoplasmic goo there. Holy shit, Pickle! Oh, that dude's back. You made a mistake! What the hell, man? The end will be us all! The end will be us all! What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here! The darkness binds! Yeah, dude's gonna disappear again. He always fucking disappears. Dude scared the shit out of me! I've caught that bum sleeping up here before, too! I wonder what he meant. It just sounds like crazy gibberish to me, man. Was this the room that was locked before? I don't think this was, because there used to be the newspapers on the wall there. There's another two. The truth will set you free! Dude, no. Yeah, does that play in the truth will set you free? That's great. Okay, so I need two more teeth now. Uh, hopefully I can find them in the basement. Um, I think this is the room that wasn't open before. Oh, there's a tape here. Uh. Oh. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach, and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing, just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would, could, would open that damn goddamn vortex already. I wish it would tear this world apart. I wish this all would end. I need this to end. Holy fuck! Ah!
Megan? Hello, are you with us? Nothing on the super gear, boy. Hey, did her neck? Where did her necklace go? Huh? I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Damn, dude. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, just double, let's double check in here. All right. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear, boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up. True. Hope she's at least with Megan. I'm gonna find the other two. I don't like going in here again. It's all slanted, too. So, mu so much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Then we blast it back to hell again when it show shows up. I don't know if it's gonna be that simple, Sal. Can I get the other tooth? I want the other tooth. The, tr the tooth will set me free. I'm sorry, I shouldn't copy that horrible pun that Mary did. All right, is it over here? No, so there's only two more, right? I think I have three of the five. Yeah, so I'm assuming that they both gotta be somewhere where the base we can be. Somewhere in the basement. One's gotta be in here, right? I feel like one has to be in here. I don't remember there being two doors. There's one. There we go, okay. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth! That was bad. Oh well, I'll pretend like it was Larry doing the voice. Shit, I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up some somewhere. It probably won't. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't go back down there. Alright, let's try to get this episode over and done with here soon. Just because I've been trying to do shorter episodes and we're already going on 30 minutes here. But my goal was to do the whole, like... Uh, what's the word for it? Sur basically re-go through um, the whole apartment before in the episode. It just took longer than I thought it was going to. It's weird to be leaving after living out here for so long. God, Larry's voice is getting worse by the minute. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time, so I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I don't... And I know I'm not going far, but it's a little sad for me for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's keep looking around. So there's gotta be another tooth in Larry's room, right? So I don't think we're gonna go back out to the um, treehouse. And if we do, that would suck. Mostly because I... Larry is one of the few people in this apartment that seems to keep his bathroom uh, tip-top, which is awesome. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> you were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Are they canon? Cause like, I wasn't expecting them to be canon. And that's the vibe I'm giving, getting right now.
I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I... Uh, I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're, look, if you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Wait, I, I don't actually know that I know, so I've got to tell the truth. Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it is your father, then I... Well, I don't think he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult. Protect, to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean? He's not human. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. He crash landed here. This is all shit that I would have learned in the book if I had been able to collect the pages, but I didn't because I was bad at that. I, I forgot to keep doing it while searching the baloney. He crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister, Evelyn, but he did, died in the but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Aren't you gonna say anything about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? <clears throat> really, dude? That didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry. I swear. Alright, dude. It's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're gonna talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. I just need one more tooth. One more tooth. One more tooth. And then I will end the episode. Where's the tooth? This place is kind of nice when it's not winter. Like, it's kind of beautiful. The grass is, like, really green. It's, like, very well kept. Could it be in Lisa's room? That's kind of, like, the only room I haven't been in at this point. No. And what? No. God damn it. Alright, well, oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more. Have a good night!